What's up YouTube, this is Effect, aka Zertrix, and today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial, this will be the second out of many to come. Um, this is basically going to be on how to do, um, how to save styles, like metal textures and stuff like that, so you can reuse them anytime you want, and I'll provide a pack full of uh, styles, and how to do interface. Um, inter if you don't know what interface is, it's like, it's a good new style, it doesn't, it, I mean it takes skill to make it nice, but it's fairly easy to do. And some people don't know how to do it. I knew I didn't know how to do it until someone taught me. So you're gonna download this picture right here, and it's gonna be a PSD file. You're gonna have six layers on here, and each layer will be one of these styles. And then just look at the layers. They look pretty nice. Uh, nice metal-looking textures, colors, whatever you wanna call them. I'm used to saying textures because Cinema 40. So um, yeah, you're gonna download this picture, and now to save it, you're gonna wanna double click the layer that you want then you want to go to styles and then you're going to want to hit new style that will save all the settings from that layer and you won't have all these layers or these styles like I do because these are them just saved so uh, you're going to have just the defaults when you hit new style you're going to have a little new square it's going to be that that uh, style so you can use it anytime you want so after you did that you're going to want to go to your background right uh, so I'm going to make a new layer or a new uh, little tab whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna unlock the background and then I'm gonna start a new layer. And on this layer, say this is the layer that you want your um, your uh, interface to be on. You go double click it, go to styles, and then you click that style that you want to use. Hit OK, and then go to pen tool. And now with this you could do um, a lot of cool interface. I'm just gonna make just a simple little just a little shape so you get the idea of it. Alright, then you fill that path in so it's colored. And now it looks really nice. It goes really nice on backgrounds. And um, say you don't want it to be that silver color or you want to add another layer in back of it and move it out a little bit. Here, you put this layer under that layer. Just like that. That'll look good in like a partnered background or something on the side of it. Then you double click the layer that you want to change the color on so it's not just a plain silver go to color overlay now it's gonna be a simple red you wanna change the blending modes and you could change them to whatever you'd like looks the best I prefer linear blur for certain colors you can change the opacity to your liking and it looks fairly nice I mean you can't get any better than that for free a lot of people will sell you these um, these style packs and I'm just giving it away but um, yeah, it's really nice to do. It looks really good on ba backgrounds when you get good with it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this pack. Just uh, don't forget to go to the description, download that um, that picture, and do as I said to save them and successfully use them. I hope you guys like this. I hope it helped you with your interface, and I uh, hope it helped you learn how to save your styles. And um, yeah, just please comment, like, and favorite this video for some more tutorials. I'm gonna be doing a lot more. It's going to be one of the main things I'm doing on my channel is tutorials on Photoshop and Cinema 4D. So come to my channel. I will try and do an upload a day. At least an upload a day. So, um, yeah, this has been Effect, a.k.a. Zertrix, and I am out. Deuces.